So it's finally here, the World Cup Finals, and it's one month of football which will be dominating your TV screens. There'll be 64 games to enjoy, and it all begins with South Africa versus Mexico and France versus Uruguay. So, Phil, it's the opening matches. Usually so these opening matches in the World Cup give us some uh, famous memories. I remember Senegal defeating France yeah. in the opening match. I remember John Collins scoring a penalty for Scotland years yeah, ago against, uh, against Brazil, which nearly got them a draw, but then they lost. So we start with the first game of the host South Africa taking on Mexico. And do you think this could be, has it got a classic written all over it or not? Uh, personally, I don't think so. Um, I think Mexico are just a bit too good. They showed against England that they are a good team. Definitely, yeah. Um, South Africa, they've really got two good players, Stephen Pino and Aaron McQuainer. Mm -hmm. And Aaron McQuainer is, isn't even that good, so. yeah. Um, they've have, they have got the host. They are the host nation yeah. South Africa. So the opening ceremony will be there. The, the players will be absolutely up for it. The fans will be blowing their vesuvas, whatever they're called. Def definitely. So but I just think Mexico will be overall. They've played big games before, and I mm. think because it's the first World Cup in Africa, I think yeah. the South African players will be overawed by the occasion. Yeah. I think that could be the down point for them. Yeah, we, I say we've been speaking all week, haven't we, about the chance? Yeah, we've seen yeah. this first game. We just think we can't believe. I'm going it. for two 0 Yeah, just two. It's gonna not an easy two 0 but definitely. Mm. You know, they're not going to struggle against South Africa. Well, and I checked this morning, I know you've been mentioning it all week about Mexico, the odds for Mexico are yeah. incredible against a side that are ranked, I think they're ranked 83 in the world, yeah. and they've recently lost against Iceland, Norway, Ireland, and you'd expect Mexico to beat them, so, I yeah, you them. so I'm thinking for a team to be trading odds against yeah, Mexico, you, you can't look further than I mean, that. I got, I got Mexico at 2.78 on the exchange, and I thought yeah. that was just great value. And it I've is got, fantastic I've got, them value. A, I've got Mexico and a few accumulators on that, because I just think. Yeah. I, don't, I can't see any way South Africa can mm. beat Mexico, but opening game, anything can happen. Anything so can happen. Don't, don't put South Africa So what, what are we going for then? You, you mentioned 2-0 so there. I'm you think 2-0. Yeah. I'd have to agree. I just, just can't see anything for South Africa. No, I, I like, think they're going to be totally overawed by the occasion. I like Guardado. Mm -hmm. I like Carlos Bay if he starts. Yeah. You know, they've got good players. Rafa Marquez, Barcelona mm. player. So, you know, yeah, so that, strong. that match kicks off at 3 o'clock on yep. uh, Friday, and I'm pretty I'm, looking I'm forward buzzing. to it. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, the office is going to be absolutely... Uh, up in arms about that game, but um, okay, moving on to the second game, which kicks off at half seven, which is Uruguay versus France, and another pretty interesting game. Yeah, it could be close. I, mm. I do think France will win this. I think they've got think? too much. Thierry Henry, you know, still a good player. Yeah, they've got Johan Gourcuff in the midfield. He's a quality player. They've got Galas at the back. Patrice Herrera, a good keeper. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but he's you, too strong. I think you're forget, forgetting the main factor, though, Phil, aren't you? Their manager. Their manager is an absolute. He's, loop. A, fruit, he's a fruit loop, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Um, Dominic hasn't got a clue what he's doing. I don't think. And I think that's going to rub off on the players. And France, I think, could go either way. They could have an absolute stinker of a tournament. Oh, they they're, could, yeah. they're going to set it alight. And I think their opening game against Uruguay, it's not an easy game from start. No, it's not. Uruguay have got Luis Suarez. Mm. They've got Diego Forlan, yeah. Edson Cavani, you know, Martin Casares. Mm. So they've got a good team. But I just think France, they were world champions. They've got some world champions in their team. They're still there, yeah, I suppose, yeah. So I think they'll just come together despite what the manager's doing behind the scenes. And I think 2-1... I say my, my money would be going nowhere, nowhere near France for that. I mean, we well, I got, I got France in my accumulator. Yeah, I know you have. I think, so. I, think, I think that can come undone. I think. I think Uruguay. I don't think they can get a victory, but I think they can shock France a bit. I think that might be a one or maybe it'd be probably a, a pretty useless. I wouldn't. Game, I wouldn't disagree with you that it will be a close mm. game, but I just think France just a bit, a bit, a bit more talent there. And okay, we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be divided. Yeah. We'll, we'll agree to disagree, as they say. So me and Phil going for a win for Mexico and a closer game between France and Uruguay, and we're pretty hot on the chance of Mexico. Yeah, for we, aren't we? we we think that could too be much money right on it. Yeah, they, I think that's a really good chance of Mexico got there. Um, I doubt they'll be the most exciting games of the tournament, but fear not. If the first two games don't excite you enough, there'll be another 64 games to make up for it.